Hi Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess, baby. Look at that, Empress and Judgment on the split. <sighs> being called to sit on that throne, being called to call that Empress, being called to rest, being called to immerse yourself in the lap of luxuries of this life, baby. Be. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective. Highest timelines, highest messages for the beautiful High Priestess Collective. In the pre-shuffle, you had Page of Pentacles and the Sun. So there could be some kind of good news coming in, an optimal message, or a piece of the manifestation that you are working on right now. Okay, we're going to focus on your energy first. Oh, Pisces! Say it. I am the high priestess. Yes, you are, baby. Look at that. High priestess seven of wands came out together. Interesting, because we have seven, seven, right? Master number seven, seven is alignment. Seven of cups is a card of, I really have been leaning into like Neptunian illusions, confusions, also dream space. Um, so there's already a couple of messages here for your energy particularly. You are showing up as heightened in your intuition right now trust any downloads that are coming through i've said this before i also said this at our intuition retreat back in like when was that april ish if you don't already have like a running log of just having an intuition journal that could be in your phone like in the notepad or an actual journal where you just jot down channeled messages just da downloads this is a great time for you to do that we have three 888 portals this month we just had one last week. Saturday is 8-17-2024. That's another 888. And then on the 26th of this month, that's another 888. And I feel like the 24th, the 26th, or the 28th, I can't remember, we have a planetary parade where you're going to be able to see like almost all the planets lined up. So this is a very big month for activations and codes and downloads they might be coming to you from different angles now, right? Like dream space might be clearing out or showing you some areas of fear or some areas of um, purging that want to come up and be released. Your meditations, same thing. There's also your energy is seven of cups. You're, I think you're confusing someone also just between us girls and guys thank you for being here and them who you know I don't hate that for you <laughs> I don't really <laughs> I don't really hate you confusing people I don't it's not intentional this is giving like you are just oh, I'm picturing the Riddler from um was it Batman Forever um, Jim Carrey, right? Riddle me this. You just are showing up as like an enigma. Like, I can't really... Oh, my whole right hand is tingling now. People are looking at you in all different ways. And I think none of them are true and all of them are true. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? For real? Like, it's true. Be it's true what they're seeing or thinking because it's that's their reality. But if you are tapped into what reality means, reality is what you create. Reality is through the lens of how much healing you've done. Reality is through how much truth you can hold. <laughs> so some people might look at you like, um, who cares, but um, like a fire breathing dragon, you know, that wouldn't be the first time I've heard that from someone. Um, and maybe take that as a compliment. Like, all right, okay. Um, some people might look at you like riches. Some people might look at you as a, a rags to riches story. Some people might look at you like there's something very cloaked about this person. Some people might literally look at you like a snake, either in a transformative way or snake in the grass, you know, like I can't trust this person. And none of it is of your concern. This is just the energy that you're showing up in. There's like a lot of success and victory here too. I think that you kind of, <laughs> you get to choose, you know, how you show up and what you say and how much you don't say. Seven of Wands is like, 
this is a card of ascension it's also protecting the intuition it's you know what else i think it's like is there a new level of privacy that you are operating in that could also be adding to this mysterious energy but it's wild because this is you in alignment you in alignment is saying less creating more learning more this is also a nod towards seven of cups high priest of seven of wands on a personal level with you know no one else involved just you yourself and you <laughs> is um it's exploring the subconscious mind it's like sh deep shadow work with the intention of ascension Ooh, with the intention of ascension listen if you don't have a if you don't have a spiritual channel on youtube take that as a as the channel title babe intention is ascension and someone here is getting really good at transmuting things thrown at them or things um poking like people if you have instigators or agitators or people who um so i'm actually seeing op oppositional defiance disorder psychologist did i say that right oppositional defiance disorder um i used to teach special ed so it's like uh also know people <laughs> with this in my real life people who can't function with i'm not gonna be able to just to describe that fairly so i'm gonna describe this person as like there could be people that you used to have around you or maybe you still do who don't do well with rules or authority I'm also not saying like bow down to fucking authority. Don't do that, please. Um, we gotta, so we are sovereign beings. But um, there is some energy of like people who don't love your boundaries or your preservation of self, but you've learned how to either, either it doesn't it doesn't affect you anymore you've like put up some kind of energetic protection so this could be for the people who are ritualizing every night calling back your energy saging the home purifying your place cleansing saying some kind of prayer where you call your energy back and um some kind of like no harm spell right so like any energy sent your way you're either like asking for it to be transmuted into the universe or return to sender something like that but um all of this is indicating you are you're in alignment and if you are not actively reflecting taking accountability healing pouring love into yourself exploring subconscious meditating journaling your dreams if you're not doing any of that then maybe this is not for you maybe this is an invitation for you to explore your internal world a little more because it's actually going to put you in a it feels like a very self-preserved bubble, like very peaceful. Which is like the opposite of what it's being perceived as by some people. Can I get one more on this High Priest of Seven of Cups? Oh my goodness. Beep bop. <laughs> I say that's my best friend. We talk in robot. Okay. Foofy woofy. Ten of Cups. Family energy. It's also wish fulfillment. This process, whatever you're doing, this is it. Stick with this. This is like a formula for success here. Emotional success, deep, deep family healing, and or connecting with somebody who really values this. Mm, they really value your values that you are exhibiting through your preservation and treatment of self. It's giving sacred it's giving sacred it's like when you start to treat yourself like the altar that we pray at when you recognize you are the altar you become sacred you treat yourself sacredly look at the bottom three of swords moon queen of pentacles that's my that's the earth witch right medicine worker herbalist Queen of Pentacles, Moon, Three of Swords is somebody who actively heals in the dark. That means no one, I'm not, okay, I'm not promoting hypervigilance. So if you need your people 
call on your people, right? At the same time, this is somebody who's like, I know that my the only way I can heal me is if I go in and heal me. And I do it in the dark or I do it at night or I do it in the silence of privacy. But this is like a repeat. This is a repeat pattern. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. I didn't mean to trigger any of the hypervigilance. You know, I got you girls and guys and them. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Emperor. You're showing up as um, very much in control of your material world. You're showing up as, okay, the emperor, he runs an empire, right? So it's four kingdoms. If you think about him as like, let's just say a supervisor or manager, he oversees four kings, four queens, four knights, four pages, right? That's a big staff list. You're showing up as someone who's able to turn seven of pentacles into nine through the divine guidance that you receive, and you're doing it very you're doing it in a feminine way but the results are masculine i'm not really sure what that means you're doing this in a feminine way that's clear but the results are masculine oh the result could be that root like root chakra healing the results could be like look at how sturdy this person is look at how stoic this person has become kind of like unshakable unreadable because the emperor you can't read this person and you know for tarot students any like long beards or white hair or white beards in tarot is supposed to represent wisdom acquired over time. Which is funny because the Nine of Pentacles is like a little bachelorette energy, bachelor energy, you know, the equivalent is the Nine of Cups. So there is like this free spirited energy here. But like with the wisdom, this is what okay this is why people are confused <laughs> it's it's so stable the energy is so stable and so magnetic like the ability to multiply resources or manifestations the ability the ability is present and your stability is like taking the center stage For some people, this like the people who are poking, it could be from family dynamics, could be like two people younger than you or a partner or two people older than you. There's also an Aries spirit guide or angel delivering um, guidance or confirmations of signs. Like there's an Aries angel or guide that's like, when you ask for specific signs, they're the ones delivering it. And as I say that, a dragonfly flies by my window. That's a personal family sign for me. This is taking a long time, though. Can I get a little something on this? Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine, and Emperor. Emperor. Thank you, High Priestess Heather, for this deck. I love it so much. Queen of Wands in Reverse. That's someone that's lacking confidence. Yeah, five of pentacles at the bottom. Aries, Sag, Leo energy. There's um, a feminine, doesn't have to be a female, right? Just somebody who's operating in, fe in feminine energy. So that's like feminine energy is allowing others to um, give to them or like wanting others to give to them. When the queens or kings really when any of the court cards come out in reverse it's a distortion of that energy so there's a distorted feminine fire energy around you who wears a mask if i said around you i don't know that they actually are actually around you they could just be a viewer like a observer of your changes 777 seven, seven. luck is on your side okay this explains the seven to the nine ten of cups is like this 
you might be giving off an energy where like things look like they're working out. Even if you're like, I'm actively working on these manifestations. I'm actively trying to get myself right. I'm trying to get, you know, that house, that home, that gig, that bump in salary, whatever. You're com it looks like you come across though as like, no matter what you're doing, it's going to work out because it looks like something has already worked out in the past from the seven to the nine. There's been an increase over time. Seven of Pentacles is a time card, right? Did you know you signed up for Tarot Academy today? <laughs> but there's a um, distorted feminine, Aries Sag Leo, wearing a mask, um, Queen of Wands in reverse. It is a result of lacking confidence. And we saw that with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, that scarcity energy. So somebody, somebody who either... Root chakra is coming up, right? With the red, the red here, the five of pentacles. So this queen of wands in reverse, Sag, Aries, Sag, Leo. Wow, that's funny because I talked about a, an Aries guide or angel. And this is an Aries, Sag, Leo feminine in the 3D. Um, they, this person, whoever this is to you, I guess they could be family or a, or a former romantic partner or a current romantic partner. You got to put her where she goes that person has root chakra healing to do that you have already done and there's something about the mask i think not to get like bad reps or anything but like there could have been a mask that you used to wear that matched that person before you did your healing but now you don't wear that mask because you healed the part of you that needed the mask. Does that make sense? Like as we heal, we need less coping mechanisms. So like people pleasing is a great example of like, once you heal the part of you that feels safe, not people pleasing at the detriment of yourself, then that mask comes off. That like, let me smile and laugh even if I don't think it's funny, even if I'm crawling out of my skin, right? Like that mask dissolves. This is just an example, but take that if that resonates. You, you and this person, maybe this is sisters or like best friends or something. You both used to wear that same mask. You don't wear the mask anymore. And you have boundaries of some sort that makes you look super safe. But this person doesn't have that. They're still operating in the mask world. Okay. lovers Pisces you know I'm not I'm not making excuses for anybody this person misses your energy though I think this person felt like they used to be able to connect with you in a lot of different ways and now oh it's making me sad they used to be able to communicate with you in a lot of different ways or like even if they weren't super like profound ways of connection, um, this person is the energy that's coming up is like their bids for affection. Have you heard of that before? Bids for affection are not being, you're like not meeting them or not receiving them. Person could be blocked, but it also could just be somebody that you're not, you're like not going down to the vibration that you used to be in because you're like I'm 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 in this I'm in alignment so I'm not going to step out of alignment to connect I'm going to invite you into alignment meet me here you know okay I'm going to get out of that I just like made my own self sad <laughs> any advice for that situation Pisces, smash that love button if you know what I'm talking about, babe. Page of Wands. Thank you. Four of Cups. Advice is Four of Cups. Well, that's a bid for affection. It's up to you. This person might reach out to, like, try to with a cup of love, right? That that ace of cups. Person might reach out to try to 
connect if they do if, even if it's just like a hey or like thinking of you something like really low stakes it's actually them making a bid for affection bids for affection is like when you're in a relationship with someone but it also could be sisters friends family and they say something or do something in the sentiment of initiating an affectionate exchange but it's like if you don't know that you might you might miss that and and if they're not great at communicating that or this hasn't been established it there's like it's like missed connections on craigslist <laughs> it's like we're missing we're not <laughs> we're not in the same place um okay i actually feel that feels better feels less sad maybe that's a theme in some kind of relationship that you had like you felt like you had a lot of you offered a lot of bids for affection and they just were like missed so now you're like miss me with it you know folk let me focus on me instead of attempting to initiate affection with people stand you know your stability right now or how you're coming across as stable you're allowed to savor that especially if you worked for this for a long time seven pentacles nine pentacles is like that's a long time the grapes in the background the grapes in the orchard take such a meticulous energy to successfully grow. This is taking a long time. You're allowed to be like, whew, I'm, I'm resting here. I'm enjoying the benefits of my, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor in my grape orchard. 4-4, four, four, master healer, you know? Okay. Ooh, Empress and the Emperor, what? reality show am I watching <laughs> high priestess and the empress in the same reading you do not get more divine feminine than that king of cups one more who are all these people who are all these people 10 claim your generational wealth Pisces I don't know what the hell you're doing but it's working, baby. Okay. All right. Woof. To the woof. Something you're doing is allowing your emotional regulation to be an operating system in the background. So this is like learning how, learning in your silence and alignment, learning how to rock with the waves, not avoid them. This is somebody who's like, I'm not... I'm not afraid anymore. This is somebody who's like, I'm not really afraid to look conflict in the face, to look rejection in the face. I'm not afraid to look at haters in the face. This is like, I know how to float with these waves because I'm made of water, right? This is like an operating system in the background. I also think there is somebody around you. This could be masculine Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Who's like also operating in this frequency. So this could be somebody who's like emotionally supportive we'll go deeper on that person empress ten of pentacles this alignment oh my god ten of cups ten of pentacles same reading pisces i don't pisces something's something strange going on something's wrong ghostbusters um there's a judgment call that has been made and like things are rapidly changing in the emotional state and your physical plane there is an increase seven nine ten of pentacles expect a change in your 3d world expect a change in your finances expect a change in your health the thing is with the nine to the ten jump remember i was like who are all these people they're from the nine to the ten jump this is a solo journey to nope it's not solo anymore there's like other people down so this is like, we have the wise elder, we have the partners, we have the children, we have the dogs. It's like um, a thriving, essentially the Ten of Pentacles is a thriving society. So either you are finding tribe or your, um, your ascension, essentially through your alignment, your, your self-preservation, your sacred process is elevating you into a frequency where manifesting your generational wealth manifesting your tribe manifesting the pay bump manifesting something long lasting ten of pentacles is on the table for you literally and it's really has to do with this emotional regulation you are i've said this before your emotions are your currency pisces 
And you know what? It's really, for highly sensitive people and for empaths, emotions are your currency. That's like, that's your data collector. But it's also, especially if you're a manifesting generator or a generator for the um, human design folks out there, your emotional regulation, it's the superpower. It's the magnetism. It is the how you're able to call more in through the frequency. It's like, um, what animals echolocation, right? Bats, maybe even dolphins. I'm not sure. They send out the sound and it's like the when the sound hits something 3D, it gets bounced back to them. That's essentially you being like, I'm radiating out these waves. I am sacred. I trust what I know. I'm building my world towards fulfillment. And it is in the building that more of it comes. Tell me about this beautiful Empress energy for the High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles. This came out in reverse, though. I'm taking that as like the wait is over. Seven, 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 seven. Can someone look that up? Seven, 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 seven. The wait is over. Eight of cups, which is funny because we have that seven plus the king is eight. Eight of cups, ace of wands. So you did have to... The people that were that are or were poking or the people that this person that misses you maybe it's people right i guess lovers could be more than one person um yeah that could be like a group of friends but you you've become a ghost oh <laughs> you've become a ghost to old world to the old ways to the old people um but it's because you had to walk away because another door was being you were given a key and another door opened or it is being opened this is also a little extra shout out for those who are spiritualists like you're actively practicing your craft herbalists um medicine workers healers shamans priestesses witches you know whatever term or word you use healers I also think in your absence, people are wondering like what you've been doing in the silence, in the this preservation mode, because it's behind lock and key. You see this like key shape? It's behind lock and key, behind locked doors, behind, it's sacred, it's private. But you know, it's, what it looks like here, Eight of Cups is like, it doesn't look like you left this is like the sweetest Eight of Cups card I've ever seen. It's very like light, the blue skies and the clouds. It's almost like you just like, like uh, someone blew a dandelion, right? And you just kind of flew away like silently, gracefully in the breeze. Maybe some of you didn't, maybe some of you left a little louder. <laughs> I support you in your noise. Um, but this, this looks like you just simply faded away. And you put yourself back in, you put yourself behind this, you got the key, you went in, and then you locked the door behind you. Because you're like, I had to get into alignment for this key to show up. And getting into alignment looks like it meant privacy. But really, privacy means solitude. I love witchy. I love witchy so much. Drop an I love witchy if you love it too. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles. This is the song that doesn't end. Oh man, the divine is favoring, or the divine, or will be favoring. There's um, tran okay, focus. Do you see her arms? two sets of arms so there's four arms and she's got these wings <sighs> Pisces it may have felt like this has been a long time coming for you this healing this alignment these changes this increase in um your financial standings or your emotional fulfillment or the root chakra healing finally feeling safe in your home safe in your person safe safe with who you are this being this recognition of self 
but to other people it looks fast to them almost as if you have bionic ability like two sets of arms and a pair of wings is like what the fuck is that gift that they've got so you it's again coming to like speed it may have felt slow to you but this looks fast to other people and it also looks favored it looks like handouts but um who cares about that like what you know if the divine is handing it out take it you know okay tell me more about this king of cups energy who is this okay you fell on the floor two of swords we've got a hand with a wand and a hand with an apple and they can't see hand with a wand hand with an apple is this a witch deck i forget the name of this deck heather <laughs> um i love it i'm obsessed with it you know someone he, I'm, I'm just letting you know i'm trying to fight this i'm not gonna fight it anymore this is just gonna get very woo um king of cups here two of swords this is somebody who knows how to make decisions around when when am i using my magic and when am i making an offer there's something very balanced in your approach um there's like a recognition of like for everything that i receive i'm going to show immense gratitude for and i'm going to offer up or offer out but the, again this is like not seeing its feeling And to get to this place of emotional regulation, there's like a lot of, again, facade energy had to go. A lot of, I'm saying facade, but again, it doesn't mean like you were intentionally being fake, which I know is like such a triggering word, but like that's also human existence. This is like um, stripping down, you had to strip down. That's also why you needed some privacy or you need privacy to get down to your most authentic state of energy and feel into what is the relationship I have with self, right? With that Libra moon in the background. What is the balanced equilibrium relationship I have with self? You had to do this alone in silence. Is this, is there someone else here? Wow, look at this world card. One, two, three, four, four sets of arms, four sets of arms. You are doing something that makes other people look at this like, how are they able to manage, handle, juggle? They must have four sets of arms. It's almost like, it's almost like making up, <laughs> making up um, like ways in which you're able to do this. I don't know. Okay. Tell me about this King of Cups outside of Pisces. The star in reverse. This this may have been like a big being able to regulate your emotions or actually feel them or like tap into them and be like, I know what this is, I know where it's from, and I know how to nurture it. Foofy woofy. This might not have been modeled for you, so this may have been something you've had to learn as you go. And maybe it's like still a work in progress, right? We're always we're always healing. The healing journey never ends. It's just like being able to enjoy the journey while we heal is the mastery. This is also a little bit of somebody who didn't realize what their emotional patterning was doing until there was like a moment of reckoning. I think this was mirrored back to you in a relationship you had with someone where it was like, oh, oh, I'm actually repeating an emotional pattern that is like not serving me. It's because I have a wound that i'm seeking to be healed through another but i can't do that i ha i can only heal it through self that could have been like a little this could be somebody that you had to you had a breakup with as a result of that catalyst energy wow yeah three of pentacles at the bottom somebody that you were oh the reflection you see that Ooh, the reflection in the water so that could have been somebody that you had some kind of relationship with intimate and intimacy could be best friends but um the transformation is a result of the mirror reflection you saw back that's good though pisces that means instead of getting triggered 
by what you're seeing about yourself, you're like, I'm going to allow that trigger to put me into alignment. Let me go into that shadow. Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot. Six of Cups. Wow, this is a victory or a success for not only you, but definitely that your inner child. There's that, um... I think this is a bird skeleton, but when I see it, I think dragon. This the combination energy here, I don't know if you could see the artwork of like these two faces, these two little girls, two crescent moons on the shoulders, just like the two crescent moons on the high priestess crown. This ten of pentacles is a birthright and or... There was a knowingness that you had as a child about some kind of victory or success you were going to have. There also may have been an image, uh, not an image, There, as a child you saw someone who is an adult operating in mask and you knew, oh this is operating in mask. And there may have been a little, no, yeah. You saw, you recognize an adult or a caretaker or, or could even be a teacher, I guess. There's someone around you who is operating in mask and you recognize it as um, this, this thing that this person is doing is because of pain. That is like a high level of awareness of a child. But that's also like super common of traumatic childhood experiences or parentified children or children who are, um, are given too many responsibilities outside of an appropriate scope and sequence. And it's like that premonition energy. There's something tied to that of like recognizing when I'm an adult, I'm not going to do that. And by not doing that, I'll be able to preserve this like it's essentially innocence. And the innocence is like a driving factor in the success and victory or um, a driving factor. This like inner child freeing, inner child healing is bringing you closer to this Ten of Pentacles, but I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is on the table, so to me that means it's here. The energy that shows up on the table, it's like, oh, it's here. Especially if this was Cancerian energy, or, you know, a Cancer placement, or Cancerian energy is also maternal energy. Can I get one on this? the two girls? Also might be this like whoever this girl this feminine energy was up here you know sisters or friends or something five of cups wow look again the two two feminines and one is saying goodbye to another there's definitely something here about feminines maternal energy and having to say goodbye to somebody but like there was mirror man there's like a lot of mirroring happening across relationships that you've used for your own healing or you are recognizing this now, like, oh, all of these relationships were mirroring back to me, aspects of me. Okay, that feels like a confirmation. We have five of pentacles at the bottom. Smash that love button if that made sense for you. Two fives is a ten, and that's a wrap. And you got ten, ten out here. That's a judgment call. Ten, ten, ten is thirty. Brings you back to the empress. The empress is luxury wealth creative energy we saw that creatrix before i think right foofy woofy okay tell me more about this high priestess oh look what happened the sun just popped <laughs> That was in your pre-shuffle, Page of Pentacles, Sun. So like a positive message or wish fulfillment, enlightenment, healing coming through. T tell me a little bit more about this High Priestess energy and journey. What's to come? Ooh. Wow, there's that judgment we just talked about. This is your awakening. This is a, or it could this could be like a second or third awakening. Sixth awakening. More on the judgment. Wow, 
Judgment Hierophant. That's insane. When the High Priestess and the Hierophant come out in the same reading, there's a reveal. Those are also counterparts. We have two, two sets of major arcana divine counterparts. So if you're seeking divine counterpart, that's also on this table. And it's a result of this alignment. Oh my God, smash that fucking love button. Claim your 10 of pentacles. I claim my generational wealth. Okay, this alignment, this like solitude period, or however long this has been. Seven days, seven months, seven years. <laughs> Um, no, I'm just kidding. Put you where you go. This has been to awaken you to your higher calling, uh, some kind of higher commitment. Because this higher commitment, higher calling is actually the pathway to your Ten of Pentacles. It's like none of it was for nothing. All of it is playing, all of it is a playing piece in this expansion of your, essentially, what did we call this before? thriving society this is you thriving or being called to step into a thriving abundant period yeah the moment you choose to disengage from energy that conflicts with this you are automatically in calmer waters tell me more about this calling man it's <laughs> do it just do it like nike did you watch that movie i don't know actually i don't even know if we're supporting nike right now um but that movie tells a tale of a person who was like i can't explain it i have a nudge i promise this is gonna work spoiler alert when you follow that intuition you lead you are led to success when you follow your internal blueprint of like what's really raw organically aligned for me letting those masks drop that's when you end up in this victory seat major arcana major arcana major arcana ten of pentacles three majors and a ten of pentacles is this is your soul contract agreed to this it also, it may have like agreed to a lot of choppy bullshit <laughs> before this so you can savor this and so that you have the ingredients or tools to get to this. Hangman at the bottom is also like something in this solitude of yours or this like aligned sacred preservation exploration of the subconscious is genuinely creating a more consistent outlook that's through the lens of the divine like instead of looking through the lens of humaning allowing yourself to feel the human experience and then also apply the lens of divinity to it through it around it it's giving big like it is a calling it is an undertaking yeah it's making sense of what was lost that's a healthy coping mechanism. For some of you, if you thought you were going to be a... This came... Okay. <laughs> if some of you thought you were going to be a clergy member growing up, maybe Maria from The Sound of Music inspired you. I don't know. <laughs> um this call inward is essentially you stepping into that service you don't have to be a formal clerk a formal member of any monotheistic clergy to be a to be working for the divine the work for the divine comes from inside the house not like a paper from the vatican for the recovering Catholics out there. I love this reading. Empress, anything else? I feel like I missed her. Look at all these majors, dude. It's so nuts. 
the more truth that you um, allow in about self, right? Essentially, like the more masks you allow to fall off, fade away, dissolve, the more balanced equilibrium you establish in your 3D, 3D life. My mouth just wanted to say 3D wealth, so I guess that's something too. Your pathway to wealth is through truth. Your pathway to wealth is through truth of like self. Like, I don't like these things. I do like these things. I feel good when I operate here. I don't feel good when I operate here. Finding that, like, using that as the map quest <laughs> puts you in this um, significant manifestation mode or significant receiving mo mode, tomato. It's like less work. It's manifesting through less work. Oh, I feel like I'm lost in the ethers, guys. I'm sorry. Smash the like button if you like it. <laughs> um, okay, get out of there. I love this Pisces. It's a journey. Claim your abundance. No. Anything else for... Pisces. We got the full blue super moon next Monday. You can register at the second link in the pinned comment below. I love uh, big moon energy this time of year. All right, nothing is lost, Pisces. Doesn't this look like the sea parting? There's so much biblical energy here today. Know that when you lose something, try to remember that there's always a deeper meaning that anything you lose comes around in another form. And no matter how bad things may seem, all is not lost. I wish the last sentence here was, and the sun, the sun will rise again. And then destined, ooh, destined for greatness. You see this? This is the image of DNA. That means this is in your DNA. Destined for greatness. It is your destiny to be great. Yeah, it's coded in your DNA. <laughs> time to meet your greater self this feels like a blueprint and i love it bottom of the deck is the labyrinth of life you can choose to be lost in the labyrinth or use these trials to harness your inner strength and come out stronger and wiser that is it baby you have so much divine energy on your side emperor empress hierophant high priestess judgment chariot chariot big big winning energy and it's all from what Silent alignment. Silent alignment. Keep working your magic, Pisces. This is very cool. Keep me posted on how this is all hitting. I love this. Pisces, hold my hands. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Slowly release through the mouth. And affirm it in the comments. I am the High Priestess. Yes, you are, baby. Bye, Pisces.